Hello everyone. Uh, normally you read my newsletter, right? Today no. Today you're gonna see me and and uh, I'll have opportunity to share a little bit what God is doing uh, through video, still video, but that's okay. Would it be fun if we could do in person and uh, face to face and sharing what God is doing through our family. But that's what we have for now. So let's do in video. Let me start sharing a little bit what God is doing through our family. We moved uh, to Colorado Spring last beginning of June. So we drove all the way down from Minnesota to Denver in one day. That was a long drive, uh, but we got to Denver safe and we spent the night at my brother's and then we came the next day to unload the truck here in our house in Springs. So we got here safe. Uh, we have our home. We are renting for now. So we are trying to put the house together. It, it You know how moving is a mess. So we are trying to do that as soon as possible so we can uh, get settled. Uh, that's, that'll be a great help, especially because I'm traveling in a couple of weeks to Brazil. So I want to get this done as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, reg regarding our moving, uh, process one of the main main reasons we moved to Colorado was because my kids decided to do college here, so uh, we are in the pro that's we are in the process of getting everything settled so they can start college next fall. So Nathan is already settled and he's gonna do business in uh, with a major in uh, uh, sports management. And uh, Luke is still deciding if he's gonna do his course here in um, in the University of Colorado, who would be business in uh, films studies, and um, or he's gonna do his college in Battle back in Minnesota. So he's still deciding between these two colleges, and in Battle will be business too. So we are in this process of making decisions. Here comes some prayer requests that. Uh, you can pray for us, helping Luca make this decision. Uh, he needs to make this decision by the end of this week, I think. So help him deal with that. Uh, help, pray for next week. I'll be visiting University of Colorado with the boys to try to get all the financial packets settled, everything settled the way things should be done. And uh, we are still learning how college works here. So please pray for wisdom and patience so I can I can help them do the better, best deals and best plans for the future. Uh, we are still working with the Project Certanejo and we are very excited about that. That's really make me very excited. excited. So uh, one thing that uh, Oh, uh, it was make me excited is that uh, our team is great. We put together a very good team. So the guys are great. Um, I'm going to be really a consultant in this process. As you know, Spoken doesn't lead proce uh, projects. We support, we encourage, we empower locals to do it. So I'm not going to lead. They, we have the project manager in Brazil. Uh, all the team in Brazil, and I'll be uh, just a consultant in this process, serving them and helping them accomplish the goals. Uh, so yeah, the project's moving. We we just uh, have our office rented, so we have some remodeling, like painting, small things to do in the office. It's almost done. I think it's gonna be done by the beginning of this week. And um, we have some furniture to put in the office to get everything settled. So things are moving very well in in this month. So by July, we can start the translation. And and including we have one, um, one couple that is going to be working the project moving this week, about 14 hours of distance where the office is going to be so he's moving this week he's driving please consider praying for that for his driving is a long drive with his family and his dog so so they can get there and uh, by the beginning of july and they can start to do the translation uh we have a potential project starting in madagascar 
where I'll be involved as a consultant. So please consider praying. I don't have a lot of information about that project yet because it's just in the beginning, but please consider praying. Looks like it's a great project. There is a really need there, a huge need there. So please consider praying for that. Uh, our next trips, uh, I'm flying to Brazil next June, July 8th and I'm staying there until July 19th. So for launching the Projeto Sertanejo and adding to that, I'll be preaching in a couple church. One church is uh, my sending church and uh, another one is, is a supporting church, financial support church that is involved in our ministry. And, plus, uh, and we're gonna preach, I'm gonna preach in one more church that is gonna be a church that I do mentoring uh, sessions with the pastor for uh, since beginning of June, uh, beginning of January, sorry. So I'll be preaching there one night so I can have some fellowship with him for a couple hours. I, I won't have a lot of time. So this, this mentoring uh, session is to lead by the name. You guys know that uh, it's a ministry that, uh, it's kind of a startup ministry that uh, I'm working on and we do a, most of the sessions at night. So we respect the time with spoken. That's my business hours. But we love to spend time with um, with the leaders and help them get better and empower them, encourage them and, and love them, support them. So that's very exciting. So I'll be preaching at the church and just spending a couple hours with him in my way to Natal where the project to certain age is based. Um, the other trip that's coming is to Egypt in Jul in August. Uh, Spoken is, is having a gathering there to celebrate the end of the New Testament in Egypt, uh, uh, the oral Bible translation in Egypt. So we're gathering all the translators that are involved with Spoken in Egypt so we can have some fellowship together, some celebration, and adding to that some training with the whole team of Spoken in the world. So that that's very, very exciting. I'll be there from August 12 to 18. Please consider praying for for this trip too, and uh, because it's gonna be a great moment to connect with the translators in the world. Thank you for your support and uh, your prayer support and your financial support. You know how much that means for us and how much this makes happen what the, min, uh, the ministry of God through our lives. So thank you so much for that. We, we want to celebrate. We had two new donors coming up this last quarter. So that was, that was very exciting. So please consider praying for new donors. We still need to achieve some goals that we have regarding our funding. Please consider praying for that. And we're starting to build connections here in Colorado in the future that will may help and keep our connections and relationships in Minnesota. We need more monthly donors with $50, $100 a month that will uh, we'll put it together our support. So thank you for your support. And if you, if, if God is willing and you know some somebody that loves God's ministry and he, he loves the oral Bible translation and want to connect with us, we would love to share what God is doing and maybe share how they can be part of that, supporting our ministry. Okay? Thank you so much for that and God bless you and uh, see you next quarter.